Let's look at John Locke's letter concerning toleration on the nature and purpose and boundary between church and state, or church and uh, political community. Locke says, I esteem it above all things necessary to distinguish exactly the business of civil government from that of religion, and to settle the just bound that lie between the one and the other, which means he's going to have to define these two communities, the political community, or your country, or uh, as he says, the commonwealth, and the religious community, or the church. He's going to have to define these communities and their purposes. The commonwealth seems to me to be a society of men constituted only for the procuring, preserving, and advancing their own civil interests. Civil interests I call life, liberty, health, and indolency of body, and the possession of outward things such as money, lands, houses, furniture, and the like. The commonwealth, or the political community, or your country, has for its purpose the preservation of temporal goods, of physical goods, of physical life, and of liberty, and of property, and of things associated with them like health, money, lands, houses, furniture, and the like. That is the purpose of government. Now, the church has a different purpose. Let us now consider what a church is. A church, then, I take to be a voluntary society of men, joining themselves together of their own accord in order to the public worshipping of God in such manner as they judge acceptable to him and effectual to the salvation of their souls. The church is a community joined voluntarily for the purpose of securing eternal goods. We are concerned here not with the goods of the body, but with the goods of the soul, and that is the purpose of a church. A happy life, as we see elsewhere in the letter concerning toleration, consists of temporal and eternal goods, the goods of the body and the goods of the soul. And these two goods are distinct, and they are to be pursued separately. Temporal goods are the purpose of the state. They are the purpose of political community. It is the purpose of political community to secure these temporal goods, these goods of the body. The eternal goods, well, these are the jurisdiction of the church. These are the province of a religious community, the good of the soul, um, favor with God, happiness after death. These are why we have uh, religion. And the pursuit of these goods is to be separate and distinct from the pursuit of temporal goods, thus saith John Locke. 